Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Coaster where first of all we'll get our new staff only signs all around the place that we've done with the Theme Makers Toolkit and, uh, and then we'll get cracking on the gift shop for the Ghost Ride. Near enough get this finished, um, there's a couple of little gaps still. Uh, the reason there is little gaps is because I'm hoping we can find some stuff on the Theme Makers Toolkit to uh, to fill them out, basically like gift, gift stuff really because I go through and uh, get some as small as things as possible to kind of make them look like gifts uh, but I'm I, I know that a few people are working on like gift racks and stuff at the moment, t-shirt racks and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping to get some uh, good stuff there that we can kind of mix in with the in-game stuff to get a nice uh, a nice selection of uh, gift stuff. You'll see here that I'm copying over some of the stuff that we've already done in-game using um, uh, you know different bits of shapes and stuff. And, and overall, I'm pretty happy with them, but. Uh, these t-shirt racks, for instance, they look, they look pretty good. Uh, but I know for a fact, uh, Red Mist is working on some t-shirts for, for exactly this thing, so might as well have something that looks even better. Uh, you know, so that, that's kind of the plan. That's how I'm try kind of treating the Theme Makers Toolkit now. Filling in gaps, uh, especially the sort of stuff I'm creating myself. Filling in gaps like uh, signage and, uh, you know, little bits like that. I'm going to start working on a mop bucket today. Little, little realism blobs like that. Uh, and then also, sort of a way of... Um, refining some of the stuff that we're already creating with art shapes and, and whatever else as well. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, a lot of, part of the fun of Planet Coaster, in fact, most of the fun of Planet Coaster is sort of creating the look of stuff, uh, how we can add the pieces that are built into the game. But I think certain points, uh, especially smaller items, it does get to a point where, you know what, it just, it's starting to look less and less like what it's meant to, and you're really having to sort of suspend your disbelief to, to kind of get it to look like what it's meant to look like, um, such as those t-shirts. They're big and bulky, and I think, uh, you know, a few more flowing shirts on a rack would actually look a lot better. Saying that though, here's something using in-game pieces that I'm actually really happy with. Turns out it's looking exactly like what I wanted it to look like, which is a, uh, a display cabinet. So, uh, there's no real inspiration here for this gift shop. One of them, uh, one of the things I was thinking of is the is the gift shop that comes out of the um, uh, Haunted House Alton Towers, but you know, for most most parts, I'm going to move the mic a little bit, uh, most parts it's just a pretty standard gift shop, but one thing a lot of gift shops do have is they have all the regular stuff, they have the plushies, they have the plastic tats, they have, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that, but then a lot of them these days, they have these sort of expensive stuff as well, Disney's definitely does this, and a lot of American parks do it, and it's started to happen a little bit in UK parks, now for instance the Alton Towers Wicker Man shop, has a lot of this kind of stuff. So yeah, okay, you want to buy yourself a little resin model, you can do. If you want a cast iron one, uh, or one with some like jewels on it or whatever, you're going to pay for it. And I, I'm totally honest with you, I don't know who's buying this stuff. If it's your sort of thing, then good for you, do you know what I mean? It, you know, uh, different strokes and all that. Um, personally, I think it's a seems like a bit of a waste of money to buy a, a an on a, you know expensive metal gold ornament about a, th a roller coaster. But you know what? Again, everyone's got their thing, haven't they? So it's all good. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I've gone for there. Sort of like the high-end stuff, you know, some jewellery and stuff like that. Uh, the one thing that really made me think of while I was doing it was the um, the m and m store that we went to in London a little while ago. And it's ridiculous. m and m store, which is fine, I guess. m and not a massive brand in the UK, really. But I think it's a bit bigger in the States. But they have this huge store down in London. It's massive loss leader. And... Um, like anything you could think of, they've got it M&M &M branded, which is fine when it comes to pencil cases and, uh, you know, backpacks for kids for school and teddies of the of the m ms or whatever. But then they've got, like, Shirovsky crystal sunglasses. And I'm just thinking, who the hell is buying this stuff? And that's kind of how I feel a little bit about, uh, about these sort of stores at the, end of, uh, at the end of rides. But if you are that person who's buying it, then hey, good for you. Uh, here then, looking at filling out the um, the, the selection of stock, uh, I've got Ruble's teddy bear here that's getting a bit of a makeover. Uh, see if you can guess what he's going to be. Uh, you also see I put some minions in there. I notice a lot of the time with these uh, gift shops, especially for some smaller rides, is they'll have a selection of stuff specifically for the ride, uh, but then they'll also have a lot of just like general stuff that they, you can buy all over the park, okay? So that's why we've got sort of minions in there, but these are meant to be a little bit more specific. It's meant to be a devil. It's ended up looking like a little bit of a red cat, but it's fine. <laughs> I was trying to think, what can we do, teddy bear that's like haunted housey? Uh, and I, I brought the teddy bear over, and I'll be honest with you, I was just going to make them red and black and move them, and then I saw the ears, and I was like, oh, I reckon if we flick those ears around, we might be able to make them look like devil horns, and it, it ended up looking a little bit like a cat, but that's fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, again, reusing some of the stuff from other gift shops that we've got around the place here, just to kind of um, get that workflow up. 
Um, I actually, weirdly, I know the last sort of month or two maybe with Pinewood, although I have been really into building in it, I've been like, oh, I've been really short for time, oh, I'm really sorry, you know, I've only got much done, I've been caught for time, whatever. This week, I wasn't. I had all the time in the world. I pretty much had a day to play Planet Coaster, but unfortunately, this new update, um, the Toolmaker's uh, Toolkit update has, has goosed the game a little bit. They're, they're aware of it, but my god, the frame rate is so low. Frame rate's dropping to like four or five sometimes in this now. Uh, and it's basically, it's a bit of a chore to build in it. I really wanted to get stuff done because I, I, it's the first time I think this has ever happened. I've actually wanted to play Pony Coaster, and that's not, not the first time that's happened. That happens all the time, but I've actually wanted to play. I've actually sat down. I really wanted to build and just created it. And I think part of, part of that has come from the thought theme makers toolkit, even though we're not really using it in this episode. Um, just that just that idea, that creation juice is just flowing again I'm really looking forward to getting in but the actual playing experience just isn't really that fun at the moment because of how uh, of how goosed it is so they're aware of it they're looking into it I assume it's just a couple of features it looks like they're playing around with the gizmo to try and fix that because that's playing up a lot now as well which makes it very difficult for moving multiples uh, of items um, I, I, I hope that's them trying to find a fix for the problems with it um, as opposed to just somebody turning something off by accident. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how it really works. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that wheels are in motion. And like I say, Shantae on the forums has said that you know they're, they're aware that uh, this update has caused some uh, frame rate issues. So uh, you know, fingers crossed, we'll get a bug fix. We normally do after major updates, especially after like the DLC updates and stuff. We normally get uh, a pretty hefty bug fix within a within a couple of weeks. Um, so uh, looking forward to that and hoping that does a bit of the uh, the work for me. Like I say, you see here we're putting some uh, t-shirts on the shelves they are going to be replaced with some theme makers ones when we get them i think because again there is something nice to be said about building the stuff manually but to be honest with you i think i'd rather look some good looking excuse me some good looking t-shirts there i'd love an in-game t-shirt that acts as a billboard that would be awesome a billboard with no light or anything but thus you could put your own uh designs on that would be really good because you know technically you could go into blender and make 10 of them now but that that's not very uh efficient i don't think uh talking to the theme makers toolkit just all i'm doing here is basically boxing this in making it look like uh, like the warehouse that it's that it's meant to be um and keeping sight lines in mind you'll see the front of it there we carry on with the the castle brick and the uh, the roofing pieces and then at the back you'll see it's all metal and later on we go into peep view as well and really sort of have a look around and see what we can see and see what we're going to have to do regarding uh, covering up a bit of the backstage because we really want to make sure that this thing is covered up from the back uh, yeah, Theme Makers Toolkit, it's going amazingly well. I'm absolutely chuffed to see some of the stuff that's been added uh, into the game so far. People are really starting to get a hang of it now. I've noticed the first week was a lot of cubes and a lot of things without textures and things like that. But um, this week I've seen people really start to get to grips with it. We're getting some really good animations. We're getting some really useful stuff. Um, file sizes are a little bit big across the board, to be honest with you. I think people need to try a little bit harder with their optimization and remember that uh, Planet Coaster isn't a particularly high-def game. It looks gorgeous but most of the look of how good it looks comes from just the general feel and the uh, and the sort of the art style as opposed to how sort of high definition it is if you actually zoom in on stuff uh, the textures are, are relatively low low um, definition and the and the items themselves are relatively low poly and it really comes down to just working really well as a solid art style so i'd love to see people in the uh, theme makers toolkit start to embrace the art style a little bit more as opposed to just making stuff that's really high resolution and, and high poly because it's you know, it's just going to start to 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 goose the game even more. To be honest with you, something we mentioned in the uh, theme makers. Um Toolkit treasures that I'm doing with Delay Designer. There was a gorgeous cup by Red Mist, and it was just huge. Uh, he's taken our advice and completely redone it, and now it's uh, it works much better. It's much looks it looks like a Planko asset now because it's that it, it's had the polys and the and the textures moved down, and it it's actually made it usable. So uh, so yeah, that's really good. So I'd like to see people get a little bit more behind their optimization, really make uh, making sure they're looking at their uh, their poly counts and their texture sizes. You know, I see people using 4K textures for a, a piece of paper or something. You know, and it's like you know, it just it's just not going to be seen in the game. It's just going to make your graphics card cry instead. Uh, here, then, you can see I'm looking around from. Uh, from the uh, the peep level to make sure it's okay. Still a bit of work to do here, to be honest with you, but I started to get a little bit frustrated by the frame rate, so I came out. Lots of gaps on the shelves there at the back, hoping that we get some Theme Makers Toolkit stuff that we could fit in there. If not, we'll go back over and have a look at, you know, rather than just repeating 
crows and skeletons and and uh, pumpkins all the time you know see if we can go back and add some more uh, some more stuff in there some like cups or mugs or uh, snow globes or something like that that'd be really good if anyone fancies the challenge <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not really don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so over on our geekism discord server you'll find the link for that in the description uh, don't forget to check out our affiliate links in the descriptions thank you to all of our patrons who make these videos possible at patreon.com geekism love you all to bits see you in the next one